brush. In there. This gel art pot will be able to keep the white nice and thin. Give it nice crisp lines, just like that. Gotta hold your breath sometimes with these these designs, guys. Very important. Get the lines nice and straight. You gotta make sure you do not lose your shape. A lot of times you're using a polish that's very thick. That's how we use uh, gel art paint so it doesn't reduce one coat. If you do multiple coats, guess what? Your shape's gonna be gone, more than likely.
a lot of people struggle with being having a steady hand when doing line designs. In case to hold your breath and just make sure you use the brush to sh do brush strokes. Brush strokes are very key. You better do nice crisp line designs. It takes time, but this actually shows technique. Class know that they're paying more for you know, technique. I definitely don't recommend doing this with the regular gel polish. It won't keep the uh, crispness of, uh, of the line. You know, kind of bleed out as you're working. You want to get you want to get that nice definition like you get here. Dip it into the product, it just gets really chunky, regardless. Okay. I never clean my brush, leave it like that so that I can store it back in the case and clean it when you use it again. <coughs> it's a nice, no wet top coat, and you get to go. shape with top coat a lot of you guys don't realize that i've seen a lot of you just slap it on there i see you know it all droops to one corner and then your top coat makes your crisp shape gone been there done that if you realize it they think top coat so oh, you can't see it no they can still run to the corners and make it bulky and the same thing i like using a medium consistency top coat like this is a no wipe 60 seconds to make it give it a nice shine and it doesn't move to the corners as you're painting the other fingers because it's the medium consistency. is better be more shiny too A lot of times you guys don't seal the cuticle in and I see a lot of nail tech slap so much oil on there. Guess what? That oil is going to get underneath that nail. You guys know what's going to happen? Lift, 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 lift. Yes, that's what happens. So make sure your, your cuticles are sealed in before you slap all that oil on there, okay? Or else you're going to get a lot of lifting. Generally, I'm going to zoom in the 
cuticle for you guys. Um, cuticle wise, you want it nice and flush like this. Right before the cuticle, seal it in. And you'll be able to minimize the lifting. Um, nails will lift regardless of what you do. You just gotta minimize as much lifting as possible. Right, thank you guys for joining me and if you guys like this short set. We do a lot more and more lives like that. Oh, it's cute. I knew it's so perfect for this design. All right, guys, catch you guys later. Thank you. Only 30 minutes, yes. See, if you want to take pictures, this is how you take pictures. Put the client's hands together. Put them like this. Yeah, you have a nice cute little picture right there. For those who want to take photos. See, the camera's right over, aerial view, boom. Crop it out, and then you have a nice picture. For those guys that have struggled with taking pictures, see? I just, just position the client's hands. Now, when I put their tips on, I make sure the tips are nice and straight like this. That's why I take pictures like this. See, a very generic. Boom, you just screenshot right now, boom, you can have a nice picture. I hear people ask me about taking pictures and stuff like that too. It's, it's you know, it's, <laughs> it, it's not that hard. So there you go, that's a picture right there. <laughs>